Greetings everyone, my name's Dom and today I'm going to be discussing when you need to upgrade. So, as I'm sure the people who follow my channel are aware, I just upgraded my PC to something special. The specs include an i7-5820K 6-core CPU, a GTX 980Ti G1 gaming graphics card, 16GB of Kingston HyperX 2666MHz RAM, a Kraken X61, which I just installed, and a beast ASUS Sabertooth X99 motherboard, featuring all the new shears like uh, USB 3.1 and M.2 for example. A lot of you are probably sitting in your seats thinking, how the hell did a 15 year old afford such an expensive graphics card and CPU? Well, that's because I have something called a job. Might want to get one if you're interested in building a PC. Money doesn't grow on trees, kids. It grows in your bank account balance. But for that to happen, you need to plant the seed, then water it. And by that, I mean look for a job, then work. I've been saving for a while, and eventually, you'll have enough. I came from a dual-core Pentium G3258 and an R9280X. You can definitely argue that I needed a new CPU, but you could also argue that my GPU is fine. And this is what comes into play when you think about upgrading. Is it a want factor or a need factor? My need factor was for my CPU. I play games and want to get into streaming. Can my Pentium do all those things? With the exception of streaming, yes. Well, sort of. It could, but not very efficiently. The difference between render times in a dual core CPU and a hex core CPU is literally hours. My channel was suffering because I was physically unable to produce enough content to meet future demands of my channel and its inhabitants. I have my GCSEs coming up, and so I will not have time to wait for 16 hours for my videos to render. However, with this new CPU, it cuts the time into a mere 20 to 30 minutes. Upgrading my CPU has saved my channel for the future when I don't have as much time to edit and make videos. This was enough to justify the upgrade. It was a need factor, which is what you should be looking at when you're going to upgrade. Think about what you're using your PC for. If your PC can do what you want it to do, what you need it to do right now, then don't upgrade. You don't need to upgrade. However, if it can't, be smart about your upgrade. If you just game on it and it's insufficient for your needs, upgrade your GPU. If that means upgrading your motherboard, then you may as well get a better CPU and sell your previous components to factor into the costs. But don't go crazy getting the latest i7, get something that will suit your needs so you won't need to upgrade for a while. Like the i5-4690K for example. If you're like me and do video editing or high intensity tasks, and what you have right now is not good enough for your needs, then look into getting an i7. But quite frankly, people with first and second gen CPUs such as the i7-920 are still holding up fine. These are 6 and 7 year old CPUs. Don't think you need to go for the newest models available. You can save a lot of money this way. Obviously a 5th gen i7 will perform much better than a 2nd gen i7 when it comes to crunching numbers, but it's still something to consider. Talking of considering things, you need to consider your budget. Set yourself a goal, earn that money, then upgrade your PC. Buy the best components your budget allows because you don't want to have to upgrade the following year. For me, this was an i7 5820K, a 980Ti and 16GB of RAM. For you, that might be a 5960X. Whatever. My point is there's more than just one thing to think about when you're looking to upgrade. Okay, so what's the deal with my GPU? Did I need such a powerful card? In short, heck no! No one actually needs a GTX 980 Ti or a Titan X. They're for people with a big budget. However, the card does help a lot with video rendering due to GPU acceleration. Effects like cropping, color correction, and the Gaussian blur take a while for your CPU to process. But having your GPU handle that instead of your CPU speeds up render times by 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how many effects you have in your timeline. Bear in mind I'm talking about Premiere Pro CC here. GPU acceleration is CS6 onwards, I believe. On top of video rendering, I do want to game. I feel that a frame rate below 50 is unplayable for me, or at least unenjoyable. 60 FPS looks and feels so nice to game with, and I want to be getting that minimum in every single game in my library maxed out. There are some games like The Witcher 3, which the GTX 980 would sometimes dip below 60, and so the last step up to the 980 Ti got rid of that small annoyance. I can run The Witcher 3 maxed out at 1080p and get 80 FPS consistently and it does go into the 90s and sometimes over 100 FPS occasionally. I record games and I believe 60 FPS video, especially for gaming, is a much more enjoyable experience to watch and adds immersion. Set your standards and apply that not only to your budget, but to your selected components too. But anyway guys, that about wraps it up. If you did enjoy this video, then do show your appreciation by tapping that like button. I love your face and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ta-ra!